Dr. Chol Kim here from sunny San Diego, California. We're getting started on this 30-year-old with annular tears causing genital pelvic dysesthesias. She's all the way from Indiana, so we have to do a good job. She's got an annular tear at 4.5 and 5.1. We did a targeted diagnostic injection. She got temporary improvement, so we're confident this is contributing to her symptoms. So. We're going to utilize the most awesome state-of-the-art minimal invasive technique that I have in my armamentarium called the LESS procedure, laser endoscopic spine surgery, also known as band-aid surgery. We'll make two little poke holes, one at 4.5 and one for 5.1, and stay tuned for intraoperative video details. Okay, I identify the perfect starting point, and now I'm going to use a spaghetti noodle dilator to delicately and gently get to the surgical target site utilizing intraoperative imaging and delicate Asian fingers. Okay, I've got the skinny needle needle in. I'm injecting the, it's already leaking out, how pathetic. Shot and save. Oh, look at that. Look at the tear, it goes up like this and then back down. Okay, we're getting started. Here is Wagner's arch. That's where the pedicle is. And normally I can easily just put this in and I was like stuck, but I've been feeling around so much. There's a little hole right there. X-ray. Should be curling around the pedicle. Just like that. So now I know exactly where I am. Even though everything looks like a weather map. That's the neural foramen. That's the pedicle. That's the disc. And it already has an empty tense sign. And then all this inflammation is making it so that th things are just stuck to each other. Because that's what inflammation does. It causes fibrosis and scar formation and adhesions and nerves do not like to be stuck down. They like to slide around and move as you move your body. This is the part of taking gum out of shag carpet. This is the Viagra ball tip feeler right here. It's a deployable curved ball tip feeler and blunt dissector. The other characteristic of inflammation is lots of blood vessels. Okay, I finally released everything. And that's Dr. Asimov, neurophysiologist extraordinaire. But all his Over negativity is just making me stronger. Yep, that makes perfect sense, Ali. I'm in here taking gum out of shag carpets and loving it. But oh, look at that. Actually, it's a lot worse than on the MRI. But that happens a lot too. Okay, I'm reaching more medial. And look, it's starting to get blue. Because on the MRI, the annular tear is in the middle. Thank you, Dr. Asimov. We love you. All your negativity is just making us stronger. There's the laser. That's The red is just the aiming laser. It's not the actual laser. And I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a little tapping sound. Because the laser is a mechanical instrument, not an electrical instrument. How cool is that? So it doesn't conduct. It's like, like a little mallet, tiny little electric mallet, chipping away at this, making it disappear. Because I hope you're wondering, like, where do all the pieces go? Why are they magically disappearing? How's that possible? It's possible because it's magic. And look at the blue right there, more and more medial. It's so awesome when everything lines up clinically. Bone spur. So all the instruments articulate, look at that. Because that's to go down a really narrow corridor. So I've got all these curved, specialized instruments that are really tedious and annoying to use. The curly Q pituitary now, including this grabber that has a little curve on it. I know, I'm so sneaky, don't tell anybody. Oh, I feel a bunch of cockapoople right here. Oh, yes, yeah, right there. Oh, look, it's like a little poop. Save these pieces on a telpa, please. Oh, it's like right there. It's torturing me. Oh, I feel something coming out. It's a big poop. Just like my teenage kids, that's not going to come out without a fight. Okay, four or five is looking really good. I'm almost done here. 
Just the punk teenage kids. The Mikey fragment, as this is called. The last fragment, right before I get done. It's like a punk teenage kid. There's something right there, huh? But it's not gonna come out without a fight. Almost. X-ray. And it's exactly right in the middle. In the famous words of George Bush Sr., thousand points of light. Um, I don't know if you saw the annular tear from inside. I was going on and on about it. The nerve is free. I can get into the canal. Oh, I am so optimistic. We expect you to get better. Right, Brian? That's right. Ooh, that was perfect timing, Kendra. Okay, same thing, perfect incision. Spaghetti noodle dilator, delicate Asian fingers, and the force, Luke, the force. Oh, yes. Sheesh, that was not easy. Shot and save. Shot and save. Okay, so I'm looking outside or out toward me laterally at six o'clock or behind under at six o'clock is the nerves. That's the disc right there. It's already kakapoo poo. Okay, so now I'm looking more medial toward the canal. Still some schmutz around. I'm rotating the cannula so the opening is looking toward the canal. And there's the dural tube. Oh, that's so scary. Woo, look at how scary that is. There's the dural tube. Right there. It's got a big vein going through it. It's going to start pulsating in a while. So I'm going to use this cannula to sweep over. Everyone's coming over to look at your dural tube. There it is right there, Brad. See that? Now I'm going to just sweep it away from me like a pimple popper on a big disc herniation. When I do that, literally the, the disc herniation comes flying out like a pimple popping device. It's oddly gratifying, kind of a sick kind of way. Oh, look at this. It's like a little mouse in my drain. I'm glad we did 512. This herniation actually goes toward the right side, that's what's weird. Even though our symptoms are more slightly left-sided. Alright, so there's the nerve right there. You see that? That white thing coming across. I gotta get rid of this. Look how I'm right next to it. Oh, I wish you guys could see this. This is the coolest thing in the whole wide world. I'm literally working right underneath the nerve. Because not only is the laser very precise, it's side firing because it can bounce off a mirror. But it doesn't remind me to blink. It's the only problem. You can see the tear, the white and then the blue. Ah, oh, I don't know what to do with myself. Just love it when things are going right. Oh, that felt so good. My favorite tooth here now. Here's the dural tube. Look away. My snaggle, snaggle tooth. I love this thing. I'm so glad I have the laser today. Oh yes, must remember to blink though. The normal annulus, it's white and dense. 
Look at this thing coming straight back like this. Mm-hmm. Away with you, annular tear. So I'm removing the offending agent, releasing the nerve, and reinitiating a new healing response. And hopefully this time it will go down the correct pathway instead of getting stuck in the chronic inflammatory state. Okay, I've gotten this entire tear to the other side, almost to the far lateral edge. Here's the dural tube, look away. It was all, see all this inflammatory tissue that it's stuck down to? It should be an anti-adhesion molecule, so I'm going to easily be able to dissect that by just rotating this instrument. And the dural tube is intact. And I wouldn't be surprised if it starts pulsating. It's red and irritated. So we're all expecting a great result. So get better. Okay, sugar is all done. Here are some of the distractions from 4 5. That's where most of this was right there. And here's some of the distractions from 5 more. Most of it washed out in the irrigation. And then you've got like this on that, on that part with like a buck tooth and another tooth. He's got like a beautiful band from the vampire. Like you. From which we will place these cute little band aids. Just like that. So that is good. And it works. Perfect timing. Okay. So best wishes on a speed recovery. Right, guys? Yeah! So here's a radiographic summary of the procedure. First get a good AP at the level that you're going to operate on, then a perfect lateral. I have the spaghetti needle dilator right here, you see that? I stick the needle in and I'm starting the chromatodiscogram. I'm injecting the dye in the middle of the disc and look at it leaking out right here, across the top right there. That's the annular tear. So cool. Completing the discogram. Now I'm dilating, that's the cannula, that's the probe, there's the cura going all the way to the other side, making my way back toward me, just little by little, feeling it with a bolted feeler, more curatage, now for 5-1, this level was challenging, because your bones are really strong, but we got it done, went beautifully, same thing, dilating, reaming, this required a double reaming technique because it was tight. See that? So I got it readjusted. There's the discogram. Look at that. Kakapupu disc. Still dilating, still dilating, still dilating, still dilating. Look at how many times I had to do it. Finally got the cannula in right there. It's looking lateral. That's part way through the case where I'm reaching across. Look at this probe going all the way to the other side. That's how I know where I am, both by direct visualization and radiographic imaging. And I'm just looking all around. It went beautifully, so we're all expecting a great result. So best wishes on a speedy recovery.